This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by Lincoln Savings Bank. At home in Iowa, at work for you. Welcome back to Panther Sports Talk. We're here inside the Unidome with Director of Athletics, Mr. David Harris. David, you just finished your first complete full year as the Athletic Director here. Talk about some of the highlights, the things that you have enjoyed in the 2016-17 school year from an Athletic Director standpoint here. The biggest thing for me is I've really enjoyed getting to know people, getting to know our student athletes, our coaches and our programs, just talking with them, going to practice, going to competition, and really seeing them excel and advance and doing what it is that they want to do and, and having success, that's really important to me. But specifically when you look at competition, you can't look past the success that we've had with several of our sports with three of our teams winning championships and two more teams uh, earning at-large bids to the NCAA tournament. So uh, really proud of what softball is doing and know that they have a lot more uh, in store for us uh, this season. Uh, you look at volleyball and women's basketball earning at-large bids to the NCAA tournament. You look at women's cross country and them winning the Missouri Valley Conference. And then you look at wrestling and what they were able to do in the regular season. So our sports continue to compete at a high level. Uh, that's just fantastic for our fans to be able to see, uh, for them to be able to call, come out and support these sports and these student athletes. That was one of the best parts of the year, along with the fact that I felt, felt like I was officially a Panther uh, just going through a full year, really experiencing everything, uh, getting a chance to put names and faces together and really just looking forward to the future. The student athletes are getting it done. Talk about the coaches that we have in place here and what you like about the leadership that you've seen helping win conference championships and getting to postseason competition. Well, one of the best things we have with our coaches is that they get it done in competition, but then their student athletes do well in the classroom and then in the community as well. So I've really enjoyed working with them because they stand for the right things. They they, they're always trying to do the right things. They're leading our student athletes uh, in a way that I think everyone can identify with. So I just feel really fortunate that we have the group of coaches that we have. Uh, we were able to secure Coach Warren and Coach Jacobson uh, with a couple of contract extensions. So that's exciting for us as well. So I, I really feel like we have the right people leading these programs. And so when you see us have success, when you see student athletes doing great things in the community, and then you see us uh, with the APR numbers have five sports again this year in the top 10% in the country, credit our coaches and the leadership that they have. Talk more about the APR for someone who isn't familiar with that. Sure, basically it's a measurement on whether or not you are keeping your student athletes eligible and working towards graduation and whether you're retaining them uh, each semester. So you basically get a point for every student athlete that's eligible and retained each semester. Uh, ultimately, the national standard that you're supposed to meet is a 930. Uh, so that's what you're looking at for all of your programs and then as an institution. Uh, we have exceeded that you know, for a number of years and a lot of our sports, five of them uh, in total, uh, are in the top 10% when you look at all the sports programs throughout the country. We had five sports that are in the top 10% basically doing a great job of retaining and keeping our student athletes eligible and having them work toward graduation, especially volleyball, who's been in the top 10% for all 12 years that we've had the program. Yeah, and looking at the support staff to help these student athletes in the classroom is very big, just as big as the coaches are. We'll talk more about that in our next segment here, but more with David Harris right after this.